Well, hello, diesel dwellers. Are you a diesel dweller? <laughs> you don't even have to be a diesel dweller to get pissed off at this shit. Okay, it's time to change the oil. Right there, in the big bad Dodge. It's a pain in the butt enough because it's not four wheel drive and it's not that high off the ground. It's sleek. It's low to the ground, gets 20 miles to the gallon in the city, 28 on the highway. Yeah, baby. That ain't never going away. I'll drive that until I'm on the rims. So, what am I going to tell you here? See this bullshit? I'm using the dumb phone. See this bullshit? Recycle ready eco box. Don't buy this crap. Either this is diesel oil, so this is three gallons as you can as you can see. This is what I usually run. Change my oil literally every 12 uh, months. It's actually a little early because I don't want to do it later on. I want to do it right now. So, I'm in Wally's World the other day. And if you don't know what Wally's World is, like one of the commenters on my YouTube channel one time said, I'm in Florida. Where's Wally's World? I'd like to go there. No, that's Walmart for the rest of you who live in a cave. Wally's World. And I'm looking at all the diesel oils, right? And of course, oil right now is through the roof like everything else. But I don't care. I want to change it. That's how I, I'm a maintenance freak. I'm a maintenance freak right there. I just did the oil, the gear lube, uh, clean the interior anodes in the water jacket. That was about a week or two ago. <clears throat> this box here, how the hell, look at this. Look where this is. This is supposed to be so eco-friendly. It's so eco-friendly that it's really thin plastic. I'm afraid it's gonna burst. And look at the nozzle. It won't even come out of the box. All right. So, I could have spent $5 more. I said to myself, oh, how bad can this be? Okay, it's an eco thing. It's an Alexandria Casio Cortez Puerto Rican thing from New York City. All right. Well, pretty much F her and every one of her goddamn friends, stupid bitch. But here I am. I go and I'm, I try to, Save a few bucks because I need to pinch pennies like no tomorrow this time. It's Bidenflation, of course. So every time I can pinch a penny here on something, I figured, hey, $5 is, well, that's half of lunch, maybe. So I bought this box. Do not buy this. Either you're a diesel, diesel dude or non-diesel dude. It doesn't matter. Don't fall for this shit here buy jugs because now how the hell am I going to pick this up and dump it let me take you out here how the hell am I going to pick this up by myself three gallons of oil and get it in there and into that funnel this, this truck's a pain in the ass enough because I don't want to always go underneath so I have to take the air box off I have to take the plenum part over here off there's the turbo right there and there's the oil filter and there's how much space I got not much now I can do it underneath but you know it's a sloppy job I'm on my back and I can barely move because like I said this is a two-wheeler and this is an 08. Now, I can go in from the front and do it, but 
I always found this is a little easier. It's a little cleaner to take the filter off and put the new filter on here. Usually to take it off, I can't get it between this clamp. So I put a box underneath right there and I unscrew it and go, bombs away, boom, and it falls in the box. Because um, I always got boxes because I'm a, you know, I'm a eBay guy. I'm a eBay buyer, eBay seller, Amazon buyer. That's the stuff that keeps me going. Quick deliveries, cheap prices. Come on. So I let it bomb away underneath and then I just pull the box out. Doing anything I can to not get super nasty. So I got to do this just to. So I'm supposed to pick up that goddamn thing like a jug. Nope. So, thank God I'm a, I'm a hoarder. And I have, I don't know. <coughs> 200 of these Maxwell House containers. Maxwell House is a Jacksonville company. You can go downtown and smell the coffee a-brewing. Yes, sir. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go from here into here into there. But word of warning, go ahead and spend $5 extra for like real jugs. Don't go for this progressive AOC bullshit box because how the hell are you going to pour this in there? into your vehicle. I don't know. I'm not the most mechanically inclined guy in the world, but I get by and that's what I'm going to do. So just a word of warning and thanks for watching.